the moment, things are really quite exciting. We actually have a number of targets, and uh, these are being concurrently developed. So we're beginning to see new promising opportunities uh, across a number of fronts. I'll start, first of all, with angiogenesis, because this is where we've already seen evidence of activity. Um, a drug known as bevacizumab uh, showed a positive uh, signal of activity. This was a couple of years ago from the French uh, IFCT group, where using bevacizumab, they were able to improve upon the standard of uh, chemo therapy. Uh, this was published in the Lancet. Since then, we've seen data from uh, another agent known as nintedinib, which in a randomized, double-blind, uh, placebo-controlled trial uh, showed a superiority for combination of nintedinib with chemotherapy. And this led to a phase three trial, which has recently been um, completed. We're waiting the results of. I think the other key areas at the moment would be immunotherapy. As with other areas of cancer, uh, immunotherapy has a lot of promise, um, certainly for mesothelioma. Uh, biggest challenge at the moment is really who to target, so which patients would uh, be the best to target with this type of therapy, as not everybody benefits. But um, where we stand at the moment with immunotherapy is that we are seeing interesting activity. We're seeing it with single agents, such as pembrolizumab or nivolumab. And again, from the IFCT, this is the French uh, cooperative group, we've seen evidence now in the MAPS-2 trial of combination nivolumab and ipilimumab, showing very uh, interesting effects in terms of survival. I think beyond that, we're still um, at the very beginning when we think about uh, molecularly or genetically targeted therapies. I think there are two at the moment, which are, would be the front runners for me in terms of uh, the, 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 the possibility of seeing outcomes that are favourable. The first is to do with a protein called ASS1, uh, which is a, uh, an epigenetic biomarker. This is a protein which can be now targeted, and a study known as Atomic uh, is evaluating that in the sarcomatoid and biphasic patients as a first-line therapy. Uh, the second, I think, is the gene BAP1, and this is the most common mutation in mesothelioma. And uh, BAP1 has been uh, found to be sensitizing to a new class of drug called the EZH2 uh, inhibitor. Uh, we've just completed now a global study uh, with the French, UK and uh, the US looking at uh, an EZH2 inhibitor called um, a tazemetostat. And tazemetostat appears to be, at least in the laboratory, uh, a drug which can control cancers that are BAP1 mutated. Uh, not those that aren't, but those that are. And uh, the study was to test the hypothesis that in BAP1 negative tumours, they would respond. Now the trial has accrued and we're just again waiting to uh, see the results of that hopefully later this year.